In dynamic terms, performance cars, even supercars, are better off with tin tops than in soft top form. And yet, it's the cabriolets, the convertibles, the spiders that hog the limelight. Which begs the question whether the appeal of those cars is really all about the romantic notion of wind in the hair motoring, or whether it's about the unencumbered sound of the engine. A car like the S3 Cabriolet, of course, is glamorous and it's quick, but does it deserve the S badge? That S badge has been worn by some pretty serious machinery over the years, which suggests that the S3 Cabriolet has been engineered primarily for dynamic appeal. The S car formula typically revolves around a powerful engine, a talented chassis, and quattro all wheel drive, and that's exactly what the S3 Cabriolet has on offer. But let's not forget that this is also a very handsome machine. The Audi A3 sedan is one of Audi's most harmonious, most attractive designs. It has just the right mix of muscular proportions and clean chiseled lines. And in S form, of course, the entire package just gets a little bit more attractive. A lower stance, more color coding and more aggressive detailing. The S3 Cabriolet is a real head turner as a result and especially with a top down. Eye-catching headlights flank the prominent single-frame grille, which gets bolder horizontal crossbars. There's a low front splitter and large air intakes. Extended soles serve to emphasize the S3 Cabriolet's lower, more planted stance, while the windscreen frame, cabin surround and exterior mirrors all feature a subtle brushed aluminium look. The rear has a ribbed rear apron and dual pairs of twin exhaust tailpipes. Of course, by far the most prominent feature is the canvas hood, which is raised and lowered at the push of a button and can be operated on the move at speeds of up to 50 km an hour. It fits snugly and is double layered in the interests of enhanced thermal and sonic insulation. The basic layout of the S3 Cabriolet's interior is very similar to that of the normal A3 Cabriolet, but there are of course a lot of distinguishing details amongst them, these very nicely upholstered sports seats, grey-faced instruments, the shift paddles which uh, make for lightning fast uh, gear shifts, and of course also a lot of standard specification. The interior treatment is monochromatic to the point of being somber with an all-black execution for the roof, the leather seats and much of the instrument panel. There's real leather for the flat bottoms and multifunction steering wheel while other niceties include Bluetooth telephony and music streaming, climate control, remote central locking and electric windows and mirrors. Our test car's optional extras were worth 70,000 Rand, including the B&O sound system, satellite navigation and keyless entry. Rear accommodation is cramped, at least for adults, and at 285 litres, the boot isn't exactly generous. With the roof folded away, only 240 litres is available, while the space server spare wheel encroaches on boot space too. In real terms then, the S3 Cabriolet is more of a 2 plus 2 GT machine than a proper four-seater, and dynamically it certainly has the go to match the show. The S3 Cabriolet shares its mechanicals with the S3 sedan, which means it's powered by a 2-litre turbocharged engine, which in South African spec is good for 210 kilowatts of maximum power, linked to 380 newton meters of torque. The only gearbox choice here is a six-speed S-Tronic dual clutch, and of course, Quattro all-wheel drive comes standard as well. That Quattro system runs in front biased mode when quattroing along at modest speeds, but uses a multiple clutch to feed an increasing percentage of the urge to the rear wheels as the front starts struggling for traction. It certainly feels lithe and wieldy, with a cavalier character that encourages spirits of driving. Vitally, the brakes match the urge for power, hauling the car down from high speed without complaint. For all its glamour child image, the Audi S3 Cabriolet is no slouch when it comes to straight line performance. A power to weight ratio of 124 kilowatt per ton means that this car does the 0 to 100 km an hour acceleration test in 5.3 seconds. Top speed is limited to 250 km an hour. And if you should be concerned about fuel consumption in the car like this, not bad either at 7.1 litres per 100 km for the combined cycle. Frankly, you'd have to be a saint in ballet pumps to be that light-footed with the Audi, but 9 to 10 litres per 100 kilometres should be achievable. 
However, it's unlikely that buyers of the S3 cab would have fuel efficiency on their priority list when the car's performance appeal is so strong. The ride is firm, but there's enough suppleness to cope with bumpy country roads, while the initially bland steering becomes more communicative as the Audi gathers speed. Chassis integrity is top class, with scuttle shake noticeable only by its absence. The Audi S3 Cabriolet may be a glamorous convertible, but it's also a very competent, very rapid sports car. The soft top might steal a little bit of luggage space and it might be a little bit noisier than the tin top, but it's also a thrilling and very sexy sports car. With loads of muscle and low-down torque, the S3 Cabriolet is rapid and responsive, while Quattro all-wheel drive and assorted chassis deliver traction and handling to match. Sexy styling and all the glamour of a convertible add further appeal, but those rear seats are cramped and the boot capacity is limited, while the extras don't come cheap either. 